Okay, just testing the minister's microphone. One, two, three. One, two, three. Microphone test one two three one two three one two one two one two testing testing one two three
stop there. Stop there a minute. We receive the body of our brother. Hartford Leroy Williams with confidence in God, the giver of life, who raised the Lord Jesus from the dead. Amen. stand. and the life, says the Lord. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live, and everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. I am convinced that neither death nor life, 
nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have died. So we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. We brought nothing into the world, and we take nothing out. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. Blessed are those who mourn for they will be comforted. God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. Welcome to this funeral service to which Hatford Williams has brought us. Some of you call him Leroy, some call him Roy, some call him Barmin. And I heard some of you call him Scarborough. So I've been hearing about all of you. So we meet in the name of Jesus Christ, who died and was raised to the glory of God the Father. Grace and mercy be with you. We have come here today to remember before God our brother Leroy, to remember him to give thanks for all his life, for who he was, to all of you, to those who are not here, to God, and indeed to himself. We here to give thanks for his life, to commend him to God, our merciful Redeemer and Judge, to commit his body to be buried, and to comfort one another in our grief. We welcome today as well uh, Hatford's Bishop, who is going to preach for us later on. Let us pray. God of all consolation, your son Jesus Christ was moved to tears at the grave of Lazarus, his friend. Look with compassion on your children in their loss. Give to troubled hearts the light of hope and strengthen in us the gift of faith. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So I invite you to stand as we sing our first hymn, Rock of Ages, Cleft for Me.
Please sit as Paul Mister brings us the eulogy. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Palmister Williams Boye, and I'm the eldest child of Hadford Leroy Williams. I was born in St. Vincent and the Grenadines in 1961 and came to Britain to meet my parents at five years old in 1966. Today we gather to remember and celebrate the life of my father, Hadford Leroy Williams, better known as Roy, Barmin and Scarborough. He was born in Lacqua village on the 10th of May, 1942. He was the eldest child to Christine John Nee Williams and child of Alvin Scarborough. As a child, he attended Bel Air Primary School and whilst in school, all his milestones were met. After leaving school, my father went to learn a trade as a mason, building houses. It was during this time that he met my mother, Sylvia, Williams Nee Abbey. Whilst my mother was pregnant in 1966, he left St. Vincent and came to the UK in search of better opportunities. Once settled in the UK, he sent for my mother who joined my father in 1961. They married in September 1962 and had a total of four children together, myself, Patsy, Kalita and Lorna. My parents separated and eventually divorced. My father is survived by more children, including Lawrence, Veronica, Byron, Deborah, Neil, Natalie, Anne-Marie, jo Joseph, and Annalise. As siblings, we all sh share very different aspects and private moments of our father. Over the years, my father worked at various jobs, which included long distance lorry driving whilst he was living in Basingstoke. After he moved from Basingstoke to Hackney, he worked at Leslie's Products, a toy factory manufacturing company. He had a passion for cars and worked as a mechanic. Dad was an avid churchgoer and was baptized on the 16th of September, 1984. He also spent years working as a security guard at Hackney Community College until he retired. Within this time, Dad sold his house and moved um, with his current partner, Jen, where he remained throughout his deterioration. In January 2021, Dad was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, partial vascular dementia. His condition was progressive. Um, prior to his condition in 2021, the symptoms had gradually developed over many years. Due to a marked deterioration in his health, Dad had to be moved to a care home in June 19, 2022, where he remained until his death on the 3rd of November 2023. Dad was not just a father, but a beloved brother of siblings who include Norma, Alan, the twins, Lulu and Cecily, Franklin, Winston, Shirley, Irma, Jumi, De Foster, Raymond, Hyson, Ashford, Grace, and many more. There were no doubt of his love for his siblings. He would often travel to Canada, America, Trinidad, and back to St. Vincent to visit them. He provided, provided for them in many different aspects, and his siblings described him as a loving and devoted brother who helped and stood by them. That is also um, survived by his grandchildren and great-grandchildren. In addition, I need to mention his beloved aunt, aunt Tante Kieran, who he loved dearly. Reflecting on my father's life, he was an extremely popular and sociable individual who loved life, loved to be liked. He loved music and dancing. The Calypso artist Sparrow was one of his favourites. He had a love of cars and fixing them. 
He even rented a car at the end of his road. Oh, sorry. Rented a garage at the end of his road, which was always full of his friends. He always entertained them whilst working. Most days he would cook, buy drinks for them. You'd often see him outside his house fixing cars with a few friends, namely Bino and Champy. In fact, any time he travelled, he always walked with a friend. On the other side, when looking at his personality, one could also say he was a complex person. He was quite stern and stubborn. As all of you know, Dad had an eye for the ladies and loved being in women's company. My father was a very proud man. In the latter days, he would look at us and ask who we look like. And when we say we look like you, Daddy, he would laugh and say, that's right. Dad would have been so honored and humbled by all the love from his family and friends in this church today. I can hear him say him now, they really like me, they love me, I'm good. Today, we're here together to celebrate his life. The number of people who are here to pay their last respects is only a testimony to the lives he personally touched. There was nothing more important to him than his family. Family always came first and meant everything to him. It always did. Even when he became ill, he would say, I love my children, all of you. His legacy lives on in countless lives. He touched with his warmth and compassion. When some dads would encourage you not to have any more children, his speeches at his grandchildren's christenings would uh, mention that the Williams name needs to continue, so we must go forth and multiply. I personally will always treasure the last years of my father's life, as these years drew me closer to him. When someone we love dies, the hardest part is not letting go of whom we've found, we've lost, but finding the strength and courage to move forward without them. I'm going to end by asking each one of us gathered here to sit in silence for but a moment and remember something about my father who touched each of our lives in so many ways. I ask you all to embrace these memories and keep there the mark he's left in your hearts. Thank you. speech sent from our aunt, daddy's sister in St. Vincent. He was always, he always encouraged us to stand up for ourselves and to be the best we can and to show compassion for others. He cared and loved his family. I immigrated, sorry, this is Tanti Lolita. I immigrated to the US and Roy and I continued the relationship. We, con we, we continued our visits home to St. Vincent. I remember the good times spent on the beach and cookouts and laughter. Although I know my brother was sick I was devastated hearing of his passing. Our condolence to his children. He loved his children and was very proud of them. You can be overwhelmed during these difficult times, but remember, God is always there. Goodbye, our brother. May God bless your soul. Rest in peace, Roy. Memories will always be in our thoughts. Lolita. This is from his other sister, Tanti Sicily. She looked after him when he was on holiday and she looked after our gran. And he had a special love for all of his siblings, but 
his baby. She was really special. Words cannot express the pain that I'm feeling inside. I did not expect to be saying goodbye to you so soon, but I'm grateful for the time that you have spent with us and the treasures your life over the pain that your passing has brought to us. My brother Roy, we call him, was the eldest of my brothers and sisters. He was my big brother and I looked up to him. He was loving, kind, supporting brother. He was a family man and looked after us. Roy left and went to England many years ago. But he never forgot his family here in St. Vincent. He would always call and check on us. He would visit us as often as he could. I hope that we would see each other again. And the pains my heart that I the pains my heart that I couldn't come to England to celebrate his life service, but I know that my brother would understand because that's the kind of person he was. I will never forget you, my brother. You have left a part of you that neither time nor death can ever take away. Rest eternal peace, big brother. I will miss you dearly. You will live on forever. Your sister, Cicely, and your brother, Franklin. Thank you. Kaliti, will you come and give us your tribute, please? say good morning everyone. It's just some notes as time goes by since that he passed that come to my head and I've just um, put down. Some bit um, might be repetitive but I just say good morning friends and family. There's so much that I could say about daddy. I could talk about him all day. Um, each of us had our own special relationship with him. He was selfless, he was jovial. Um, he expressed and showed his love. He was a very proud man and he was not shy of expressing of how proud he was of his family. Um, selfish, selfishly, I'm sure we wanted him to stay in our presence However, he was tired and he needed to rest and he's gone to sleep. He's left this path, he's moved on to a higher road. Daddy used to say, he had a cousin, Champy, that passed, sorry about that. And he would say that Champy would appear in his sleep and come and tell him, come man, let's go man. And daddy would tell him and say to him, I'm not coming with you, it's not my time, I'm not ready. But now daddy's followed him. He's also, also, um, Nanny Christine, your son who adored you, like I adored him, has joined you in a wealth of other family and friends in heaven. Yes, no words can explain how it hurts. But, I say, Daddy, I can always hear your calming words and you would always say, never mind. Daddy, you've gone out of visible sight. But you will always live on in our hearts. I will always honour you with never-ending love. And I only can say thank you for being you. Thank you.
Thank you, Carlita. And Deborah, would you bring us your tribute, please? With all my love, <clears throat> it's, <clears throat> it's been a while since I left you, and I know you bear a heavy heart. For years, we were the best of friends, and in your eyes, we're now apart. Though it may be true, my idle feet no longer tread the grounds of earth. It is you who can truly justify what the steps they took are worth. Realize now that I am only gone if you choose for me to be. If you hesitate to speak my name or recall each memory. If you reject the image of my face because it brings you pain then my life, my love, my laughter will all have been in vain. I know you miss my presence from the steady tears upon your face. But these tears you cry are not for me, for I am in a better place. I am no longer suffering. I feel no pain, nor have I sorrow. I've gone forward to this beautiful place to spend today and every tomorrow. So laugh at our jokes, remember our time, and freely speak my name. If you relive our years together, then it won't be an end that came. Embrace the things we've shared, Revisit places we have been. Keep me alive within your heart and I will never die again. Yes, it's true that it won't be the same and the same, it will never be. But I will always be by your side if you always remember me. We love you, we miss you, and we will see you again, Dad. Love your children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. Thank you, Deborah. It was good to hear that Hathford was a man of faith, that he was complex, that's good, because we were all complex. And on a day like today, we see all the wonderful things about the people, but he's just like us. None of us are saints. We're all complex, so that's good. And I'm sure that in heaven now, there's lots of music, and he's dancing there and praying for all of you at the same time. But however loving people are to us, us to them, sometimes in life, we fall short of loving as we should loving ourselves, loving one another, loving God. And this is as good a time as any to bring those times to God. Because God loves us. God is the one to whom we go to for forgiveness. Sometimes we have to forgive one another too. God is gentle and full of compassion. So we spend a few seconds as we call to mind even one of those times, and we bring them to God now. As children of a loving Heavenly Father, let us ask God's forgiveness, for God is gentle and full of compassion. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
May God our Father forgive us our sins, bring us to the eternal joy of his kingdom, where dust and ashes have no dominion. And as we gather our prayers together, we pray what's called a collect for today. Let us pray. Merciful Father, hear our prayers and comfort us. Renew our trust in your Son, whom you raised from the dead. Strengthen our faith that Leroy and all who have died in the love of Christ will share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now I invite Anne-Marie to read from, from us from Ecclesiastes 3. For every, for everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born, and a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to throw away, a time to tear, and a time to sow, a time to keep silent, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. As you are able, please stand as we sing our next hymn, Abide With Me.
please remain standing for the next reading, reading as Annalisa comes and reads from us from John's Gospel. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, I would have told you that I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and I will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord God. Please sit as I invite Bishop Hercules to bring us the word that the Lord has laid on his hearts for us today. I greet those present, as well as others, joining us by whatever means, from the USA, from Canada, Trinidad and Tobago, St. Vincent and Grenadines, from different areas here in the UK, and from wherever else others may join us. To relations, daughters, sons, grandchildren, brothers and sisters, to loved ones, friends, acquaintances, and well-wishers. I'm wishing you peace, comfort, courage, and lots of love at this time of sorrow. I pray that God will mend your broken hearts. My heart goes out to you at this difficult time. If you will, you can reach out to me at any time. I'm here for you. God bless and keep you all. From the lesson, the reading says, do not let your hearts be troubled. Jesus, the Son of God, looked through the ages. He saw the troubled times as we are in now. He saw the worry, anxiety, confusion, and fears. He saw the First and Second World Wars. He saw Russia and the Ukraine War. He saw the wars that little Israel had to fight against the nations around her. Hamas went into Israel. Then he said, let not your hearts be troubled. I am your burden bearer, Jesus says to us. Rest on me. Let not your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In other words, Jesus said, do not let your hearts be troubled. Do not let it be afraid. Do not let cowardly ideas come into your mind. Put your trust and confidence in God. Have faith, hold on to it, rely on it, keep going, and believe also in me, Jesus said. I got to prepare a place for you. And if I got to prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I'm going. I am the way and the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Let not your hearts be troubled. Put that faith and trust and confidence in me. And I, Jesus, will see you through. One day, 
my telephone rang, and as I answered, the voice at the other end said, I am Roy Williams. He said, I understand that there's a spiritual Baptist church where you go. We had a conversation, he know my brothers, he said. And he said, I want to come to the church. By all means. So we arranged that I pick him up on the Saturday, because we worship on Saturdays. And as I passed by his house, yeah, he was there, waiting. I collected him, we went to church. The next week I collected him. But he's a man who always has his transport. So after the first two weeks, he came by himself. It was about summertime, and the church had arranged the baptism already. And as he sat in and listened to what we were saying to the candidates who were going to be baptized, he was happy. When they came for the baptism that we had two or three coaches going to the seaside, because we go to the seaside to be for baptism. On the way to the seaside, Roy, I'm calling him Roy at this time. That's the way, the way I always addressed him and I know him well, Roy. He said, I want to be baptized as well. What? We are going into the sea, you know. It means your clothes are going to be wet, soaking wet. But he said, yes, I want to be baptized. So he went down and he got baptized. I don't know whether he had clothes in there with him or not, but he got baptized anyway. And from then on, he was coming to the church regularly. And that's over 20 years ago, more than 20 years ago. He continued to be there in the church with us. So he's had, he's had a, a time with God, understanding what it all, it's all about. And I pray and I hope and I think that the words that Jesus used, I am going to prepare a place for you. I believe it was to my brother here. I am going to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I'm going to come again to receive you so that you can Enjoy the place I've prepared for you. The message is for us all today. I'm going to be a bit unusual in this, in this little few words I'm going to speak with you, to you. Jesus said, in my father's house there are many mansions. He does not intend that these mansions be empty. If you're a landlord, and you have property, you want them to be filled at all times so that you get your income. Oh, Jesus wants his dwelling places to be filled all the time. The invitation goes out to each and every one here present. Consider the love of God. From our Bibles in St. John chapter 3 and verse 16, it says, so God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God so loved the world, not African, India, and the Caribbean, but the people he's talking about. I love the people of the world. Whosoever, he says, so whosoever believes in me, that's for all of us present here. Whosoever believes in me shall not perish, but have everlasting life. He's inviting all people. The invitation still stands today. Whosoever believes in me shall not perish, but have everlasting life. No matter what, no matter what state and condition you're in at this time, Jesus wants all nations to inherit the kingdom. The question is, are you going to accept that invitation? 
invitation has been thrown out. Would you accept the invitation? He so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. You've got no money to pay. There's nothing you have to do. He has given his only son for us. So, that, so this is says, when I come back, I'll receive you unto myself as my own. You will, you will occupy one of these dwelling places. God has invited you to come to him. He's always reaching out. Reaching out to each and every individual. God loves his creation. He loves his people. I will come again. And when he comes again, he wants to take us all to meet his father. Jehovah, the I am that I am. He wants us all to receive his gift of eternal life. He wants us to inherit the kingdom. Hear what the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18 and 19. Come now and let us reason together, said the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. So if you be willing and obedient, you should eat the good of the land. This invitation is for now. He said, come now. Not tomorrow. Not next week. Not next January 2024. But now, come now. Come let us reason together. He's not holding like a big stick over us to say, you've done this and you've done that. And so now you're going to get a punishment. But he says, come now and let us reason together. We're going to sit down and have a chat about whatever is going on in your life. He wants us to be partakers of his gift. We have to be on his side when he says, I'm coming back. He said, you shall love the world, the world that he gave his only begotten son. Unfortunately, some will not heed the warning. Some will not take up the invitation. He invites us again in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. We are the ones to benefit. I will give you rest. In death, as a believer, we are taking a rest from our labors. Roy has gone from labor to reward. Another invitation is given to us in Revelation chapter 22 and verse 17. The spirit and the bride say come. And let him that hear it say come. And let him that's a thirst come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. The Holy Spirit and the church, the Christians say come. And all those who are listening, you can hear the voice of God saying to you come. And drink of the water of life freely. He's given us the best. No money. No money, no, no, no matter how rich you are. No money can buy salvation. If salvation was selling, only the rich will go to heaven. But it's for us all. No money to be paid. It's not a commodity. That you can buy and hire purchase. It is free. How can we reject freedom that our eternity depends on? Is there anybody here who wants to lose out? Is there anyone at the sound of my voice? who does not want to accept this invitation. 
God is patient with us, waiting for us, waiting and waiting, inviting us to come to him. But when he saw us not accepting his invitation, he decided that he will come to us. In Revelation chapter 3 and verse 20, it says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Whosoever will hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and I will sup with him and he will sup with me. You only stand at the door of your heart, knocking. Some today are hearing that invitation. You've hardened your hearts for a long time. Roy came to the church and he said, I want to be baptized. My father and mother in this business. And it's time now that I give my life to Jesus. He's an example to the brothers and sisters, the nieces and nephews, the sons and daughters, friends, acquaintances, well-wishers. It's an example that Jesus said, come. What I have, you can receive freely. No money to pay. Jesus wants us to make him a part of our life. He wants us to come to him, to join with him. This life is only fleeting. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 years, 100 years. It's still a very short time when we measure it with eternity. No ending of eternity. My mind cannot really fathom what this eternity is all about. But God wants us to be with him in eternity and enjoy it. In my father's house, there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you it's not so. But I'm telling you so because it is so. And if you will, you will be able to be with me there. I've prepared a place for you. In 2 Corinthians chapter 18, chapter 5, and verse 18 to 20, The Bible says, all things are of God, who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ. All things are of God, who has reconciled us unto himself by Jesus Christ, and have given to us the ministry of reconciliation. This reconciliation means going back together. When friends fall out for some other reason, mothers and children, Husband and wife, for all of some reason, there comes a time when maybe they can be reconciled, come together again, start that friendship all over, carry on the friendship from where we left off. He has given us the message of reconciliation. Because God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto Himself, not imputing their trespasses against them. God does not say, I'm going to hold this against you for eternity. Come on now, you know sometimes when we, we have a quarrel and a fallout and husbands and wife, friends, you, you remind a friend, the husband, the wife, the, the, the son, the daughter, and sometimes you remember what you did. But God says, I will not remember your sins. In Isaiah 43 and verse 25, says, I, I am he that blotted out your transgressions for my own sake and will not remember your sins. It doesn't matter if we have somebody here who has had many abortions. It doesn't matter if somebody here has been to prison. It doesn't matter if somebody has committed murder. I mean, stealing all their lives. Somebody may be plotting right now where I'm going to steal next. Say, I'm going to blot all those things out. I will not remember them. And you don't have to pay to get them erased. You pay nothing, nothing whatsoever. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ. The scripture says we are ambassadors for Christ. As though Christ did beseech us, 
But we pray you in Christ's stead. I am praying you tonight that today in Christ's stead. Not tonight. Sorry. I'm praying you today in Christ's stead. Be you reconciled to God. Be you reconciled to God. Is there anybody here who will hear my invitation? To, his invitation today. In Ezekiel chapter 33 and verse 11 it says, As surely as I live, declares the sovereign Lord, I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked. As surely as I live, God says, I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked. But rather, that they turn from their ways and live. I don't want you, he says, to die in your sins and your trespasses. I want you to turn from your ways and live. So that you, when Jesus comes back, he says, I'm coming back to receive you unto myself. You'll be counted in the group that has come back to receive. In First Thessalonians, how this is going to happen? Just going to relate to you here how this is going to happen? How is it going to come back? What's going to happen? When he comes back. So many have heard that he says he's coming back a second time. This time when he comes back, he's not going to touch Mother Earth. Not this, that's not the second coming. The second coming is at the end of the world. When he's coming back to save his people Israel. For others who believe in him. According to Thessalonians, I can tell you Thessalonians chapter 4, and from verse 13 onwards. He says, I will not have you ignorant concerning them which are asleep. Paul, the writer, he's saying, those who are asleep, not dead, asleep. Those who die in Christ are only sleeping, resting, going from labor to reward because you have done his will. I will not have you ignorant, he says, concerning those who are asleep. Do we know what's happening when those who die in Christ, what happens to them? He said, I will not have you ignorant concerning them. For when I'm coming back at this time, not the last and the second coming, the trump of God shall sound. The voice of the archangel shall be heard. And when the trumpet blasts, the dead in Christ shall rise first. So that's like an alarm waking those who are asleep in Christ. The dead in Christ will rise first. And then those who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them to the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we'll be taken back to the Father. And so will we ever be with him. Paul writes unto comfort yourselves with these words. Comfort yourselves with these words. A husband, brother, sis, brother, uncle, daddy, however you know him, we all meet there in that promised land. If you believe that Jesus died, we know that he will rise again. And that we are going to meet him in the clouds when he comes. I want to speak a little bit to the young people. But it's also for each and every one. I knew of six friends. Ages 21, 22, and 23. Young people. They love the party. A Friday night or Saturday night, we'll not find them at home. Always out to the club, always out to a party somewhere. But this time when they went out and coming back home, having dropped off one of the girls or young people, young woman, I think she was 21. They dropped off one person and on their way back, there was an accident, a crash. Five people in the car, because one was dropped off. 
three at the back. Two men and a woman. Instantly, two died. Instantly. Went through the, the windscreen of the car, fell on the other side. Neck broken, back broken, multiple injuries. That's the three at the back. Only the man in the middle was saved. And yet, he was so badly injured. The heart stopped beating. They resuscitated him and he, he came back to life. But the heart stopped beating again. And all they tried and tried and tried. He did not beat anymore. They left him, went to a different room. They called his brother, come and get the body, because your young brother's died. But somebody passing by just heard a, a click, tick, 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 tick. His heart was beating again. They all rushed back. And the doctor said, We can't do anything. We just have to leave him. Whether he live or whether he die, we cannot do anything. When his brother called back, they said, Don't bother. He was asking, should I send an ambulance? Or do I have to bring my own transport? He said, don't bother. He's alive. They thought this would not happen to them. Partying and having a good time. But I know this can happen. Because I was the man in the middle of the two who died. 22 years old. You don't think it will happen to you. But it happened. And I did not see my friends again. By the time I spent three full weeks unconscious in the hospital, they were buried. In fact, the young lady who died was 21. And she had been sent back to Jamaica in a coffin. The only daughter of her parents, the only child of her parents, but come to the nursing. And it was less than a year that she went back. I'm not saying this to scare anybody. I believe if I had died at that time, Jesus was not coming back for me. I would have been lost. I did not hear that invitation. Come unto me all that labor and heavy laden. I did not hear him say, I'm going to prepare a place for you. And if I'm going to prepare a place for you, I'm going to come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there he may be also. I say it's going to be an unusual little sermon tonight, today. What am I saying tonight? Today. And I just got to remind you that the invitation is there. Some of you right now is hearing that knock on the door of your heart. But you don't want to give in. You want to do your own thing. Nobody tells me what to do. I'm a man, I'm a woman. Sometimes a parent cannot tell the girl or the boy what when what time to come back from partying? We were partying, the six of us, because all our parents were in different islands. There was no parent over me at that time. And so I did exactly what I pleased. But there comes a time of reckoning. And for all those that have sounded my voice, I'm pleading, I'm pleading, I'm pleading. Jesus went back and he's given us, we are ambassadors for him. We speak on his behalf. And I really will be failing in my duty if today I'm not asking those of us present to give our lives to Jesus. Some may say, it's not the time and place, but it is the time and place. Isaiah said, come now. Come now and let us reason. Not tomorrow, not the next day, not next week, but now. 
So I want to be bold as I end here. And not me. Do not focus on me, you've got to be focused on God. I want us to give, give us a, a chance to give our lives to God. Roy did. Going down to the society, he said, I want to be baptized. And he did not turn back. Over 20 years, and he did not turn back. He was faithful in what he did. So I'm inviting us today, those of present at the sound of my voice. I want to do a repentance prayer with you. I want you to be courageous enough and bold enough. And no matter who is around you, and what your friend may say, what whoever else may say, whatever they want to say. I want to do a repentance prayer with you. You give your lives to Jesus. You don't have to come out anywhere. If you're bold enough and feel the time is right for me to receive Jesus into my life, just sit where you are. You might want to just hold a hand up. You know, when the armies are fighting, one is losing and feel you have to surrender. They come out with a white flag, they raise a white flag. It's a sign of surrender. That you are surrendering to the one who knows everything. I do not know what's around the corner. I don't know what's going to happen next year, if we see next year. God knows. But this is the opportunity. I'm, going, I'm, I'm, I'm putting out the invitation. You can sit where you are, bow your head. You can raise your hand, you can stand. You can only believe in your heart. Romans 10 verse 9 said, if you confess with your, with, your, with, your, with your mouth, the Lord Jesus. If you confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And then you hear the voice that I'm going to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I'll come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, happy paradise. No more sickness, no more pain, no more sorrow. No more wants, no more hunger. No anxiety and worry, no fear, no doubts. In my father's house are many mansions. I am the way to those mansions, Jesus said. Follow my instructions. Do what I ask you to do. Believe in me. And you're there. Just want to lift your hand to oh, sit where you are. And be sincere. And you can say this prayer after me. Because I want when the time comes up, we have to leave this life. Elder Roy, I call him in the church, Elder Roy. I believe he's going there. That you all will go there as well. We all will go there. Because in my father's house are many mansions. But some are still stubborn. So if you will. Please say the prayer after me with me. And be sincere. God is listening and is waiting. You say, Father God. You don't have to say, you don't have to say aloud. Father God, I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe he's your son. I believe you sent him to die for us, to die in our place. You sent him so that we can have forgiveness of our sins. I accept him as the Lord of my life, my savior, my redeemer. I am sorry for the sins I've committed. I ask that you have mercy upon me. Cleanse me of all unrighteousness and receive me now as your son, your daughter, your child. Thank you, Father, for saving me. I am born again. I'm child of God. I am saved. I have eternal life. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. May God bless and keep us all. But when he comes again, 
He's coming to receive us unto himself. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I'm going to come again and receive you unto myself. Stop the fighting. Anxiety and worries and fears and doubts. And receive him. May God bless and keep us all in Jesus' name. Thank you. Amen. I could vaguely remember being introduced to Hatford, but Patsy tells me that I met him a few times here at church, but I can't remember meeting him. My excuse is that I meet lots of people, so I can't remember all the names and the faces. What I invite you to do now is to spend a few moments, call to mind those good times you had with Leroy, Barman, Scarborough, whatever you call it, and hold those good memories in your hearts, because as you name him, you keep remembering him, okay? So just a few moments of silence and hold on to those good memories, and then we will pray. Let us pray. God of mercy, Lord of life, you have made us in your image to reflect your truth and light. We give you thanks for Leroy, for the grace and mercy he received from you, for all that was good in his life, for the memories we treasure today. You promise eternal life to those who believe, Remember for good this your servant, Leroy, as we also remember him. Bring him and all who rest in Christ into the fullness of your kingdom, where sins have been forgiven and death is no more. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Your mighty power brings joy out of grief and life out of death. Look in mercy on all who mourn, Especially, we pray for Sylvia, Paul Mester, Patsy, Carlita, Lorna, Janice, and their families, for Leroy's siblings and their families, for his grandchildren, his great-grandchildren, for all his friends and all relatives who mourn him today. Give them patient faith in times of darkness and strengthen them with the knowledge of your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. You are tender towards your children, and your mercy is over all your works. Heal the memories of hurt and failure. Give us the wisdom and grace to use aright the time that is left to us here on earth, to turn to Christ and to follow in his steps, in the way that leads to everlasting life. Lord, in your mercy. God of mercy, entrusting into your hands all that you have made and rejoicing in our communion with all your faithful people, we make our prayers through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. And we join our voices as we say together that prayer that Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, 
forever and ever. Amen. As we prepare ourselves for the next hymn, we're going to take a collection during the hymn, and we'll ask the funeral directors to prepare the coffin for viewing. So when the viewing starts, I'll remind you, but we start from the back. And then you could either go back to your seats or you could go to your cars because after the family views, then we have the commendation where we say goodbye to Hackford and then we make our way to the cemetery. So please stand as we sing that old rugged cross. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross.
then the congregation sat and we saw the viewing from the back. If you would come up. So you come on the right and then you go there. Okay. So please come up from behind those of you who are coming to view Hanko. It doesn't need anything. It shouldn't need anything. There's no reason why it shouldn't be worked. Let's try it again. So you type what you want. All right. Ah. Actually, something's happening there then. reboot it if it doesn't work this time because it says why don't we just reboot the thing let's do that I'm just rebooting it I'm just rebooting it I'm just re it'll be fine I'll just reboot it like you do at home turn it off and on so Got a Wi-Fi on, so I don't know what the story is. It's not good, you know. It's not good. Have to receive donations by this machine. Right. Yeah, yeah. So is everyone finished? No, not just yet. Okay. Yeah, tap now,
I have your attention, please. Please clear the corridors because we're going to say the prayer of commendation and we leave the church. Please stand in the pews and stand as we get ready to do that because we need the, the space here clear as well as the one to the door. So come into the pews and stand up as we get ready to give the prayer of commendation and say goodbye to Hatford. So we sprinkle the coffin as we call to mind Hatford's baptism. And now we commend him to God, our merciful Redeemer and Judge. So if you're able to stand where you are, please stand. If you're not able, don't worry about it. Hatford Leroy Williams. Go forth upon your journey from this world. In the name of God, the Father Almighty who created you. In the name of Jesus Christ who suffered death for you. In the name of the Holy Spirit who strengthens you. In communion with the blessed saints and aided by angels and archangels and all the armies of the heavenly host. May your portion this day be in peace, and your dwelling the heavenly Jerusalem. Amen. Okay, for those people that are online, um, we are going to switch off right now, but we will be back online in around about two or three minutes um, at the grave.
seven foot. Yeah. Yeah, if you think when you're inside it, that's it.
Okay. Did you have a... Did you grab a new um, antenna? Well, that's good. That'll stop people from... Uh, yeah. I think we were next to the, the broken one. And there was one that was collapsed. Yeah, 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 on that corner then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was one done yesterday. Underneath there, yeah. there right. Oh, it's for you, just have a light. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why you didn't do it your way around. Do this one first. Yeah, yeah, and then move up. Yeah. Testing, testing, one, two, three, one, two, one, two.
Okay, so you have a to stand by. That's what I'm trying to do. I'll probably stand here because this tree is there, so. Yeah, yeah, we probably just ground underneath here. Yeah. Okay. Yes, please. This is Thank you. Around there, but you better to stand, I suppose. Yeah, you can stand this side. Yeah. This side would be actually fine. Okay, let's do that. Yeah. I'll hold it all up, I should be fine. <laughs> all right, good. Uh, okay. Thank you. Can you stand to the side here? Yes. Yeah. yes. They won't want to anyway, it's too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
I was looking for you. Sorry? I was looking for you. You need to sign my book. Anyway, that's fine. It's fine. I'll write your name in. You can't stand on this. <laughs> So should I bless the grave first? Yeah, then because you're gonna go straight down, won't you? Yeah. So just a second, gentlemen. Uh, we're about to start this part of the service, people. Over there. Thank you. So we bless the grave now. O God, whose Son, Jesus Christ, was laid in a tomb, bless, we pray, this grave as the place where the body of Leroy, your servant, may rest in peace. Through your Son, who is the resurrection and the life, who died and is alive and reigns with you now and forever. Amen. Yeah, yeah. He has no gloves on. Yeah. The Lord is my shepherd, therefore can I lack nothing. 
He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He shall refresh my soul and guide me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil, and my cup shall be full. Surely goodness and loving mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. And now we come to the prayers of committal. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great goodness. As a father is tender towards his children, so is the Lord tender to those that fear him. For he knows of what we are made. He remembers that we are but dust. Our days are like the grass. We flourish like a flower of the field. When the wind goes over it, it is gone, and this place will know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord endures forever and ever towards those that fear him, and his righteousness upon their children's children. We have entrusted our brother Hackford Leroy Williams, also known as Roy, Scarborough, Barman, to God's mercy. And we now commit his body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life, through our Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our frail bodies, that they may be conformed to his glorious body, who died, was buried, and rose again for us. To him be glory forever. Amen. Now, now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Heavenly Father, in your Son, Jesus Christ, you have given us a true faith and a sure hope. Strengthen this faith and hope in us all our days that we may live as those who believe in the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Support us, O Lord, all the day long of this troublous life. Until the shadows lengthen and the evening comes, the busy world is hushed, the fever of life is over, and our work is done. Then, Lord, in your mercy, grant us a safe lodging, a holy rest, and peace at last, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May God give you his comfort and his peace, his light and his joy, in this world and the next and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you. And all those whom you love are those entrusted to your care today and always. Amen. Amen. So our service is now ended, but our service to God continues as we remain in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Yeah.
and you can control your flowers now and you could put some of those if you want, right? That's only for online. It's not. All not oh, right. Yeah. 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 Well, I'll tell you what, if you tap it, if you tap it down here and put your phone next to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of a mind, Russian wind, and it's closer now than it's ever been. I can almost hear the trumpet.
That's it. Then it doesn't distort then. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. When the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. The roll, the roll is called up yonder. When the roll, the roll is called up yonder. When the roll, when the roll is called up yonder. When the road is all up yonder, I'll be there. Roll, let's call up yonder. Oh, when the roll, when the roll is all up yonder. When the roll is all up yonder. When the roll is all up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is gone up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is gone up yonder, when the roll is gone up yonder. What a day oh. of rejoicing that will be when we are ah, Jesus. We will sing and shout the victory. Get to it. What a day of rejoicing that will be when we all see Jesus. We'll sing and shout the victory. I ever, ever,
beautiful, the beautiful river. Like this one. The throne of God. Touch my finger with the golden pen, the golden pen, the golden pen. Touch my finger with the golden pen, write my name up there. Write my name, write my name up there. Write my name, write my name up there. Touch my finger. Let them do it, okay. Let them do it. 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 Let them do it.
See where the others are. Give them. This is not one over there. No, no, that's not. Is it them over there? You said that over there? Yes, it is, yes. Come this way. Come this way, Captain. You fall off. Come this way. What's up? I'm just coming to look for you. I know, I'm all over the place. Yeah, I'm still wobbly. Don't say you're weak, you're not weak. Yes, you're not weak. In Jesus' way, in Jesus' you're strong. I don't. Do you have to come and see what I asked you question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. So you said the thing I need to have in the morning, I throw it away. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes, 99%. And try and change. Yes, yes. Yes, I know, but I, I, because I'm traveling. No? Oh. You see? Yeah, yeah.
weather. switch my battery over. Can you hold two umbrellas? You'll need to switch your camera on first.
my back out. I'll put it on the ground.
Oh, I'm glad you uh, spotted that. Cheers.
Sorry? Oh, yeah. <laughs> This gap here, this gap here is free. This, this gap here, there's nothing there. So you'll be absolutely fine there with a barrel. What are they going to do? They're going to stand on this side. They're going to stand there. Yeah, I think they're going to stand there. Alright, oh, well. oh, if they all stand here with the back. Somebody's got a grave underneath that mat. Yeah. Can I do the flowers now? Yeah, 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 we can tidy up afterwards here once they're on the flowers. Spread that along the trees. Um, gentlemen want to see the photographs and what's in there. Just a bit.
Leona, Leona, make sure your earmuffs are full. Say what that? Hmm? Yeah. 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 I know. Why don't you start cleaning up? She's soothing me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can manage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. stick them in. Yeah. Stick them in there. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, leave it for the yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 
Yeah, I leave, I leave the first and that's mine. So that's where we go back over. Yeah. I go that now. That's how easy. Oh, the way you step? Yeah. step back. Oh, well, tell me just to take the time to get the time to the time to get 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 the time to I'd have to 
Pick everything up and move. I can get I can get a picture for you. Um, you know, by the way, you've had 450 devices online. Wow. A lot of people. Wow. You know, he's, he was very well known. Yeah, yeah. 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 400 and what? 50 devices. So you might have however many people behind each device, yeah. but there's 450 Whoa. devices logged in. That's, that's half yeah, yeah, yeah. The You're all right. I know. <laughs> They're made everywhere. That's half of the Caribbean. Okay, for those people that are online, um, just let you know that we will stop streaming now, but we will start streaming again once we get set up at the uh, reception. So we will stop streaming, so there'll be a little bit of a break, and then um, hopefully in around...
car EX15 WDK needs to be removed immediately because it's parked in the other car park. EX15 WDK. Can you move it, please?
microphone. One, two, one, two. Can I have your attention, please? There's a Ford car blocking the way. Registration is FN17RPV. F17RPV. Can you please remove it?
I'll be down by the river, river. Waiting for the good Lord to pass my way Oh yeah I'll be down by the river, river. Singing songs of joy on this lovely day Oh yeah We singing birds told me Sunrise, he's always there in the morning, praying and blessing the day. I've heard about this little tale long time ago, but never had the faith to believe in my soul. Now Mother Nature sent to me three little birds singing a song, convincing me it was so. Now I'm on my way Anyone come to see me this day Tell them I'll be gone for the day I'll be down by the river Waiting for the good Lord to pass my way Oh yeah I'll be down by the river Singing songs of joy on this lovely day
Your attention here, please. We are about, we are about, hmm? we are about to start by blessing the food and all those that are gathered here on behalf of the family of Mr. William. Our gracious Heavenly Father and our God, indeed you are a good God. So we are gathered here this evening to celebrate the life of Mr. Williams. I just pray that the blessings of the Lord will be upon all of you as the families that are gathered here today and other well-wishers, friends, and everyone. I just pray God that as we are here, we are here because of you this evening. And so, Lord God, we know that our help comes from you, which made the heavens and the earth. I pray, O oh God, that you will bless the food that we are going to partake of. We ask that you will bless it, sanctify it, and let it be of use to our bodies. We pray for the families, Lord. We pray that you will embrace them as they celebrate the life of their father, grandfather, brother, and everyone. We pray, God, that you will let us cherish him in our thoughts as we go from day to day. Help us each and everyone this evening as we gathered here. Thank you for everything. Thank you, Lord God, for the pastor that has set him to rest. I pray, God, that you will continue to let them live on with memories in their hearts. We pray in Jesus' name. Good evening. Just to let you know, the table isn't the food. The table is now open. Could all the elderly people and those who have any diabetic or any kind of dietary requirements please go and serve yourselves first? Thank you. I did not include immediate family, immediate family, old, old people and diabetics. Your veneers to my heart 
this paper. The bar is now open. The bar is now open. watch as it goes down <laughs> but just join the queue please children preferably um, make sure your children eat first but just join the queue please thank you I don't mind I don't mind if you want to give me I won't refuse it I don't mind I don't mind if you want to give me I won't refuse it I don't mind, I don't mind if you want to give me, I won't refuse it. I don't mind, I don't mind if you want to give me, I won't refuse it.
Wacky, wacky, wacky.
Baby.